Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Arlene. Today we're making pico de gallo. Yep, let's get started. As always, check in the description box. There's a little triangle right underneath my name on the right side. Click on it. The recipe, the breakdown, and the measurements for the recipe show up. Everything you need to know about this recipe is in that little box. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to run you through the ingredients really quick. Let's do it. First thing we're going to need is boneless, skinless chicken breast. And all I did was I measured them individually and then I cut them in half. So I have two thin slices of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Two of these is for one person, okay? Next, we're going to need some cherry tomatoes. And I'm using cherry tomatoes because that's what I had in the refrigerator. But if you have regular tomatoes, that'll work just fine. Just chop them really uh, small. Uh, and what I did with my cherry tomatoes, I cut them into fourths, okay? Some scallions that are also chopped really fine. Some jalapeno, also chopped really fine. Some broccoli florets. Those are fresh. Fresh cilantro. If you're using the powder one, uh, check your measurements. It's a lot less than the fresh one. Fresh minced garlic. I have some onion powder. Lemon juice and olive oil. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our we're gonna make our pico de gallo to get it out of the way and let it marinate the flavors. In a small ball, you're going to combine your tomatoes or your cherry tomatoes that are already chopped and measured, your scallions, the jalapeno, and you can use as much or as little as you want on this. My husband likes it spicy, so he gets spicy. Your cilantro. And your lemon juice with the onion powder and usually pico de gallo has uh, regular onions but one teaspoon of onions is not that big of a deal in the real onion so the powder I think it has the same flavor And you combine everything really good and this is going to be your pico de gallo now i'm going to show you what i do with it i was just not going to give you the pico okay let's go into the stove and get the cooking started okay we are ready in the stove the first thing that i'm going to do is over medium high heat i have the olive oil already in my pan and it's pretty warm we're going to add our boneless skinless chicken breast And we're gonna cook them completely on both sides. I'll be back once this is cooked. Okay, we are back. The chicken is completely cooked. It has beautiful color. I'm just gonna serve, them, serve it in my plate. Now, in the same skillet with all the drippings, you're gonna add your garlic. And I added a little bit of water to the garlic because I need the broccoli to have some steam so like a teaspoon of water and then your broccoli florets. And we're gonna saute this just for a few minutes. It'll take about three to four minutes. Um, once the broccoli starts to turn dark green, that's when you know you're there. You don't wanna overcook it too much or it'll turn into mush. You see that little bit of water helps the broccoli cook faster. And the garlic has something to dissolve a little, so it doesn't stay in big pieces. Okay, I'm going to cook this uh, for about three more minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, broccoli is done, chicken is done, now the pico. What I do is I grab my pico de gallo, and I take hefty spoonfuls and place it over the chicken with the little juice that it 
gave and everything. Beautiful. And there you have it, guys. My version of Pico de Gallo with a complete linen green. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Enjoy.